Uh, just wondering if um, you have any kind of inju- injury updates for us. I know that obviously Catherine Hill's been out and we've seen that Hannah Davison was out on uh, Wednesday against Partick Thistle. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, Hannah won't, won't be able to, to make the game. Um, so she'll she'll unfortunately be out for this for this tie as well. Excellent. And uh, would any update on Catherine? Do we know any more about her injury? Catherine, both both um, both Hannah and Catherine are making good progress. Um, but I think it's this game's just going to come just um, too quick uh, for both of them. You know, to be one hundred percent. Excellent. Thank you, Malky. No problem. Mark. Hi, Mark. Okay. Hi, Mark. I was lucky enough to see most of the um, Payock and Ferran Schwarz games. Um, although they, on paper, look like, I oh, will say, fairly easy results, 4-0 and 3-1, watching them, that uh, I don't think the scoreline quite showed the, um, the story. With Benfica, are you expecting a tougher game? Have you found it difficult to get footage of them or to by your various means get get access to some idea of what you're up against. Yeah, we've we've, we've managed to we've managed to see them. Uh, we managed to watch them live um, last week. Um and we've got we've got some good footage of them um also to, to look at. So yeah we're 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 aware of the the type of shape and the type of style that they've got. They're quite a quite a free flowing team. Um they have a lot of technical ability within within their side. Um Probably similar, similar to, to us, you know. And in terms of taking them on, have you decided in your head whether it's a case of you playing to your strengths or playing to what you perceive to be their strengths? If you think they're, um, you know, a little bit of a class above. Well, I think I think given the the journey that we're on just now and the team that the team has grown, you know, it really has grown, and we've we've made a few changes and had some new signings coming in. But our principles are the same, and I think for us, we we'll, we'll stick to those principles of play that we have, um, and be confident in our ability to to try and put a game plan together that um, that will contain and maybe even cause problems for Benfica as well. Hi, Alan. Well, Nick, captain the side on Tuesday night. Um, yeah, if she's playing. <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick's, um, Nick stepped in in Catherine's um, absence just now. You know, Nick's a, a valued member of the squad, an experienced member of the squad. Um, so yeah, she'll she'll take the armband. Are you concerned, Marky, about the you know the central central defence situation with the players injured? Yeah, it's it's not the it's not an ideal situation that we're in to to having lost two two fantastic players and Catherine Hill and Hannah Davison. But listen, that's the nature of football, and you just have to you have to overcome and find solutions, which um, I think we've managed to do since you know since the 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 loss of Catherine and then also and also uh, Hannah. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. No problem. Steve. Hi. Good afternoon, Malky. Hi, Steve. Malky, we've spoke a lot <clears throat> about the journey of this squad um, over the last year or so and over the, the last three years in terms of where we are now, but how do you prepare them for Ibrox under the lights, a big night on you know Champions League night? How do you, it's a new one for the girls, so are you, do you think they're ready and how do you get them ready for that? I think that, I think you're right in what you say. We're new to it. You know, what the girls have achieved to date, to get into round two is, is phenomenal. You know, and we're um, we're going to enjoy the experience. That's for sure. We're going to plan and prepare as we always do for every for every every game. So nothing will change in in that respect. But yeah, we're new to we're new to this environment. Yeah, we're new to the the kind of level of opposition that we're going to play, which is certainly a massive jump for us just now. Um, but it's one which we we we're, we're looking forward to. We're going to enjoy. And it's it's that's why we're at we're at Rangers Football Club, and this is the level we want to play in, and we'll we'll utilise every minute on that pitch to gain valuable experience, and um, you know we have faith and and belief in ourselves as a group, collective as staff and as and as, as and as players. So we're really looking forward to it. We're excited by it, and uh, you know we'll enjoy it. And obviously, Malky, as a manager, you always want more. You always demand more, but. The team has started really well this year, um, this season. And how would you, 
you know, if you were to have been sat in this position beforehand and you were given the opportunity, how happy are you with that, um, with the league campaign and with the campaign overall so far? And in terms of the girls that have come in, their development, are you happy with where we are at the moment? I think I think the girls are happy. And that's that's the one thing that's pleasing for me, that the team, it's a happy environment here. Um, sure, everybody wants to start every game, but there's such a, a cohesive unit that they're, they're so bought into playing for each other and, and to help Rangers Football Club. And I think the environment's everything that, that's here and certainly the staff, you know, Craig McPherson, Kevin, Nicola Hardy, the sports science, I could, I could name, name all those guys that are round about. They're ensuring that this group stays that way and that, that, that cohesiveness that I'm speaking about comes through in their daily actions and training and into games. But yeah, you know, to be sitting here with a, a relatively um, new programme, if you like, and to be sitting in the second round of Champions League, that's that's credit to the players, the staff that's round about. So it's new to us and it's one that we'll, we'll utilise and moving forward, it's one that, that this is where we want to be and that's a standard that not just um, not just for self as staff, but the, the, the standards have been set by the players and they're well aware of the standards that have been set. But the, the, the good and pleasing thing about it is, is they're striving for more. You can see it in them. They, they want more information. They want more extra help in terms of how they are as a human being, how they can better themselves going on the pitch, what they do off the pitch. There's a whole education piece on it and I could, I could talk forever on it. Um, and it's those it's those bits there that that'll that'll help us continue this journey, hopefully in the vein that we're doing just now.